Do I know Seth the Programmer? I do not know him. Let's see. Ugh. Fuck, dude. Just realized it's only 11. Yeah, I got work tomorrow. I have to, like, actually go in. So I have to wake up in time to get ready. And then, yeah, go into the office, which is gay. But, so what was the thing? DSP 100K... WWE. Yo, what? The, this is an hour? What the fuck? Alright, I need to see what this is. This is like a documentary? Bro, what the fuck? WWE Champions lives rent free in your mother head. Did you hear about the crazy conspiracy theory about you spending $40,000 on mobile games? Hey, hey, stop spending your money on mobile phone games! I don't think about WWE Champions. You do. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna say it one final time. It's not my account. The fucking. Just the idea of WWE Champions is so fucking gay, bro. It's literally wrestling. Which is WWE, which is already pretty fucking gay. But then you add it with the fact that it's a Candy Crush, like a Candy Crush clone that has gotcha mechanics for dudes wearing fucking leotards. Like, it doesn't get much worse than that, bro. You spent $40,000 on a WWE Championship mobile game? But can't you just log into your WWE game account and hold your phone <laughs> up to the camera and disprove detractors? Oh my god. <laughs> you probably know way more about the f game than I ever will, because you're an idiot. You're an obsessed loser. In the last few days, new evidence has been shown where I've wanted to show a content creator's gambling addiction problem via a match three mobile game. Researched and edited within the last few years, this video will highlight DSP Gaming's experience playing the WWE Champions application game. Oh if you're new, God. or for those who have seen my work in the past, this video will explain why a content creator spends thousands or ten thousands of dollars in an application game, where he would ask viewers for donations, and once declared bankruptcy due to his gambling addiction. First of all, Jesus what is Christ. WWE Champions? WWE Champions is a RPG match 3 puzzle game. You compete in contests based WWE wrestlers from legends. <laughs> like, how the fuck is this appeal? I don't understand Candy Crush. And I definitely don't understand this shit. Like, I don't know. To present superstars. This game can be played on iPhone and Android. This application game lets you play over... Dude, this voice does get me rock hard. 250 superstars. These includes wrestlers like The Rock, Brock Lesnar, Becky Lynch, and Hulk Hogan. This gacha game is played by 35 million players worldwide. Flamenco TV highlights. That is actually fucking amazing. I would not expect that many people to actually play this shit. The gacha feature from one of his videos. WWE Champions is a gacha style mobile game. Gacha or gachapon is a sort of subgenre of video games derived from the Japanese gachapon vending machines. This subgenre generally has characters of varying rarities and various drop rates that you can roll on the gacha for real life currency or a more slowly generating 
currency that you get from just playing the game. This only leads to one question. How did they find DSP Gaming on the WWE Champions game? <laughs> so our good friends over at Kiwi Farms have dug up that DSP is apparently addicted to mobile gaming. These screenshots show DSP Gaming in a WWE Champion <laughs> Discord server. In the past, DSP Gaming said he doesn't have a Discord. Could this be him or somebody else? <laughs> Bro, what the fuck is that profile picture? DSP Gaming has played mobile games in the past. You're me, Craig. I play mobile games all the time. I, right now I play uh, three. I play Tekken, the Tekken mobile game. I play uh, Marvel Future Fight, and I play WWE Champions. Those are the three mobile games that I play right now. In the past, I played many others, including uh, WWE Supercard. Uh, there was another card game that was f featured all the Fox guys. I think it was like Fox Throwdown or something like that. Animation Throwdown, something, some weird name. Um, I also played Final Fantasy Brave XVS. I tried to get into Final Fantasy Brave XVS. I kind of want to. I used to play FGO all the fucking time, bro. All the time. And this game looked better. I just never got into it. I don't really play games on my phone anymore. Maybe I'll download it now. Oh my god. Rigo Suave with the fun. Speaking of wrestling, paying $5 to watch. K Kimonito Kick? Wait, what the fuck? It's less than a minute. Please watch it, bro. You won't regret it. All right, I can pull it up real quick. In fact, we may just go, I may just go ahead and do it. So um we can uh power through this cuz I'll probably forget honestly. So, I'll just go ahead and do it. Kimonito kick. Okay. Ya dile a Rey Bucarero que se cae con su tu tu. Ya ya chole. Que le busque otro. Ya que canto que sea una de de los infumables. ¡Ah! <laughs> what the fuck, dude? <laughs> that motherfucker got launched. <laughs> Yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> Yo, what the fuck? That's like the most random shit. Teamwork makes the dream work, basically, man. Mexico's based. I know, I'm missing out. Shit. And, and Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle. Well, I don't play any of those games anymore. About two years ago, I was playing this game, WWE Supercard, a ton, okay? And I was just playing the living shit out of it. I was addicted to it. And I eventually stopped playing it. Over a year ago, I stopped playing it, actually, because it was taking way too much of my time. I said, I cannot have this take up so much fucking time. It's ridiculous. It's a time waster game. It's a money waster game. I don't want to play it anymore. But when I was playing it a lot, I told my family, and for Christmas, like, two years ago, well, not two years, it was not this past Christmas, it was the Christmas before, I got a bunch of iTunes credits uh, like hundreds of dollars of credits for iTunes. Now the thing <laughs> is, I don't buy music. Like I wouldn't buy music and buy an album on my phone to listen to or whatever and anything like that. And I don't even listen to music on my PC. So r literally these cards have sat around and I haven't used them. Uh, I use them on Hearthstone this week for this stream because they're just, just sitting there right there. They're valueless unless I do something with them. I says, here's the opportunity. I put them in. I'll tell you, I got a bunch of cards. I got a bunch of cards, some of the highest level epic cards, but I guess they're only specific to a certain class. Like, for example, uh, I got one that's a really good card, but I can only use it, I think, when I'm, like, a class that I usually don't play, which sucks. It's like, damn, I can only use it when I'm this class I don't want to fucking use. So, we'll see. You know, we'll see. Obviously, if there's, like, a rare event, if, if you want a decent chance of getting some of the limited... The editing on this video is top fucking notch time heroes dreadnought exo with the tier 3 membership really appreciate it bro big ups thanks for upgrading you might want to spend some money on that 
Gerson's gaming demonstrates how spending pools work on WWE champions. I think I'm missing somewhere around 300 shards to get in. There is Nikki Bella as well that I don't have that isn't this. And a, well, a boatload of superstar that could be a fuse if I did get them. Cane bag. Dirty Barber. 16 Ogan. 3 Star Silver. Shango. Let's just cut to the chase. How much money do we think Phil, or how much money do the Kiwis think Phil has spent on this game? The estimates range from 10k to $45,000. Take your time to pause the video and digest these figures. <laughs> $500 a year for a fucking gold subscription. I guarantee you DSP pays for that. <laughs> Surely, this can't be him. To spend $40,000 on a match 3 game. Would DSP Gaming admit this, or will he deny this? Did you hear about the crazy conspiracy theory about you spending $40,000 on mobile games? <laughs> Yes, I've heard it all. Actually, the last time I heard it was $140,000. I've heard that it was apparently on, on specifically on a Hulk Hogan card for WWE Supercard, but then people said it was WWE Champions. People come into the stream and said both. Uh, the bottom line is, it's ludicrously stupid. I've said a million times, no, this is not the case. It's not true. It's really dumb. Um, and that's where I'm leaving it because there's really no reason to even dwell on it. It's complete nonsense. Uh, as usual with these idiots completely making shit up with ha you know fabrications and half truths and I just had enough at this point of putting up with their bullshit so let them have their newsday drama on their garbage channels and we will have a fun gameplay stream here today ignoring their bullshit <laughs> whenever there's a big event that you need a lot of money for it happens to coincide pretty well <laughs> with whenever Phil does a begathon <laughs> this is fucking true the Begathons almost always line up with the WWE Champions events. It seems like immediately before or after they have one of these, Phil is in a desperate need of money. He needs $1,000 to get his Golden Hulk Hogan. <laughs> On a regular basis, Phil would encourage donations from his fans when he is financially broke to pay for his own bills. If you could please contribute, I would appreciate that. So that way, I don't go through November making no money at all on YouTube. And I appreciate this. I really need the help. I need to hit this goddamn tips goal today. Please, guys. Please, if we can make it happen, I really need the help, okay? I received a $150 tip from Death Face. Thank you to Death Face. Wow. Yes, it is, it is legit. It's another one from the Devil UK. The person who took me $200 earlier just to be another $200. Dude, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, man. I think I just received a $1,000 tip. Holy fuck, Holy man. Holy shit. Thank you to anyone who gave anything today. I was not expecting anything Jesus. like this. Jesus. Thank you very, very much. And Jeff, wow. <laughs> wow. Thank you, sir. That is amazing. Thank you for helping us. Really, thank you. <laughs> Hulk Hogan will be mine. <laughs> Are these donations going toward his bills, or are they going towards something else like this? Beer strips, could you please, like, not be a fucking idiot? This literally, is the Hulk Hogan card any good? In WWE Supercard, is the Hulk Hogan card any good? A card that I got in WWE Supercard, like, five fucking years ago. What the fuck are you talking about? What are you talking about being idiot out, idiotically derailing a stream has nothing to do with anything? Yeah, don't bring dumb shit up like that. How about that, stupid? Yeah, low-key, I am kind of jealous, bro. I would love to get a $1,000 donation. Who the fuck wouldn't? 
Oh, do I have any tips for WWE Supercard? Yes, dump $140,000 to get Hulk Hogan. Or at least that's what my detractors say. So I'm going to go off of what they say. That's what I'm going to do. Spend $140,000 to get Hulk Hogan in WWE Supercard. Snooty Roo did a 100-bit cheer. But can't you just log into your WWE game account and hold your phone up to the camera and disprove detractors? Uh, yeah, he really could if it wasn't his account. But that's the problem. It is. Oh, my God. The other, that's the thing, I don't, at this point, I can't even figure out what the meme is, because people now tell me it could be this one WWE game that I played years ago, or a WWE game that I played for, for a few months, a few, a couple years ago, I don't even know what the fuck they're talking about anymore, because I don't follow the shit, and I'm so confused in my head, this guy says Supercard, someone else says it's another game, I don't even know what the fuck you're talking about. Oh, anymore. he doesn't even know. even you idiots can't get your shit straight, so I don't even know what the fuck you're talking about, I don't care. I'm not going to waste fucking time holding phones up and showing you shit. You're out of your fucking mind. In addition, like I said, chances are, what would happen? I hold it up. Oh, God, there was something on the screen now that's more personal information that got out that they can use against me. Fuck this. Oh, no, they might get your mobile game ID. Holy shit, Phil. Yeah, that'd be really bad if that got out. What's next? They're going to get your gamer tag? Holy shit. And fuck you for even bringing that shit up. Or I show you on my screen. Oh, look, that's a name we didn't know. Now let's go scour the internet for other times Phil used that fucking name and other things. <laughs> you mean on other games? We can find other accounts that he's done and hack other accounts and get more personal information. Fuck you. All right, I've had enough of this shit. I seriously am. Yeah, there's no way that some random dude on the leaderboard that is that highly placed would all of a sudden pick the name They Call Me DSP. Like, why would anyone who spends that much money on a mobile game name themselves after DSP? Make that make sense. Tired. Every little fucking thing in my life being micro-analyzed by a bunch of no-life, worthless, disgusting, toxic, do-nothing, ne'er-do-wells who will never, ever have a shred of fucking positivity in their lives. They live in their fucking Paris basements, they hide from real life, and they do this shit anonymously on the internet because they can get away for it. For it. If they didn't get away with it in real life, they would all hide like the cowards they fucking are. Slate Dragon with the 5, it's sad to see DSP's most viewed video is 11 years ago. Yeah, that's when he was popping off, bro. He was making fucking crazy cash on YouTube and then just pissed it all the fuck away. No. Fuck off. Stop fucking with me and every little thing that I say and do and twisting it into something it's not. Stop trying to take information from three, four years ago and turn it into something now that it's not to ruin me. I'm tired of this shit. Really, it gets to the point where I get so <laughs> fucking frustrated and it just pent up pain inside of me because any little A pent up pain inside of him. <laughs> oh my god, dude, poor DSP. He's such a victim. Thing that I say and do on a stream can be turned construed into something that is not or that something nasty can be made out of something that I did innocently years ago and now you're gonna somehow try to fuck with me and I know because I, I know I know exactly what happens if I show you an account on my phone oh my god now we got something else on them use that name Scardian. it's never gonna end it never will end If DSP Gaming has a gambling problem playing the WWE Champions game, the following footage shows him being very involved in video games that features gambling and pools. Is this a behavior of a gambling <laughs> addict? You can be the judge. Hit me. Oh, nine. Hit, hit me. Oh, fuck. Hit, hit me. Shitty fucking balls. <laughs> Yes! Yes! This is good. 13. I've got a hit. Hit me. Oh, you fucker! Whoa, what did I get? I got a ton of stuff. A new victory pose for Junkrat. Look at that. 16. Oh, come on. Hit me. Hit me. Oh! Good shit. <laughs> Bust! You know what yeah. feelings, right? Oh, is that a special color? Silver! <laughs> Professor Pack Silver Edition. So a rarer version of Professor Pack. Very nice. Come on! Yes, now give me that ace. 
Oh. Yeah, I don't think this is damning at all. I, I think this is just natural reactions people would have. Oh, that's beautiful. 21! <laughs> Three aces and then a... <laughs> this is kind of crappy. Uh, hit, me. hit me. 13 hit, hit me. me. Fucking, you're kidding me! Again? <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. Yo, little did I know that DSP's gambling content low-key is actually kind of entertaining. Uh, oh, is this gold? I think we got a gold. Ooh! Easy K. Golden Ghost. Rare Golden Ghost. Very nice. We're going to put that up as a decoration. 17, they got to stand. I win. Yeah, yeah. Alright, now we're getting somewhere. I've got to go. Wind's going here. I'm up Move on ships. Up. This is good. Beto, I need 1500 to get the Namba item. Oh my god! Holy fucking pack, dude! Look what I just got. Blackjack! No hard feelings, right? Uh, I need 200 more. Only 200 more, and I'll have enough. <laughs> Double duplicate. A crappy generic icon, and that is a diva spray. Nah, didn't like those. Gold. What is it? Oh, it's a duplicate blinky. I need 1,500 chips. God damn it. Fourteen. Hit. Hit me. Come every time. It's a fucking face <laughs> card. Every fucking oh, time. It's a face card. This is bullshit. Jesus Christ, man. Your team needs to be head and shoulders above the rest in WWE Champions. Get your names in lights, be number one. Show them why your team deserves to be champion. Anything that's team-based. For example, you know, over the years, uh -oh. as I've played mobile games, there have been some mobile games where you're in like a group called like a, 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 a guild. Uh oh. And the guild is working towards a group goal. And individually, if you were all just doing it, you'd be like, man, this is a boring grind. I don't want to do it. But if you're like, man, if we hit this goal together, this is going to be amazing and we'll get a reward for it and everything. Then everyone will put, come together <laughs> to form, to, you know, to really work hard and grind it or do this event or whatever it is in the game, this mobile game. I'm sure it's the same thing for like MMOs. He's an officer, bro. MMOs, but I don't play MMOs. I'm going to give you an example from my experience when I used to play. Um, this game, Marvel Future Fight, we're like, normally we're like, wow, the rewards aren't so good, but we're like, man, it's actually fun to come together and, and hit this goal together and then celebrate after, you know? He's on this, he's an officer and like a mod on this, this guild's Discord server. Here, I'll read it. Oh, wondering why you keep trying to tell people the WWE account isn't yours. There's lots of evidence that shows it is. Be honest with everyone. Okay. I'm going to say it one final time. It's not my account. The evidence you've seen isn't evidence. You're just an idiot. There's, I, it doesn't matter how much evidence is presented. It's all bullshit because it's not my fucking account. Yeah, you people have been talking about this since like fucking January. Uh oh. And it's fucking June. Get a fucking life, you no dick loser. Seriously, get up out of your parents' basement. Go do something with your life. Get a fucking hobby. Stop bothering me. And like a mobile game your addiction. In the past, a former modulator leaked DSP Gaming's Discord ID and channel. From this leaked photo, the WWE Champion Discord server with the DSP Gaming name, both ID match. If this was him, maybe he talks in the same way as well. The members from Keeley Farms used an algorithm to compare DSP Gaming's Twitter and Discord accounts. Uh oh, <laughs> shit. This is used to verify the probability of DSP Gaming's typed words between both mediums. Jesus fucking Christ, man. <laughs> Damn, bro, they did a full fucking audit of this, man. Oski Waski with the two DSP is awesome to watch. Or to watch fall, no cap. Also, got you, man.
Yeah, I'm a gamer! Seven inches? That's pretty big. Yeah, it is fun to watch the just constant downfall of this guy. But he just, it just never fucking stops. Have a look. This algorithm has shown a very strong probability this is DSP Gaming's Discord account. From here, things would get from bad to worse. <laughs> what the fuck? Please note, to protect the identity of clan members, stock photos are being used here. The other members of DSP Gaming's WWE Champions group were exposed online. <laughs> Information about DSP Gaming's backstory was given to the clan members. They were told if they kicked DSP Gaming out, the exposed information would be revoked. <laughs> when this all happened, DSP Gaming was kicked out of the uselessness WWE Champions clan. DSP Gaming needed to be back in the ranks and decided to create his very own clan. They still found him with his placeholder name. Uh, Joe Taco 13 Cheerio says, who are the placeholders? I don't know what the hell that means, but thanks for the cheer. The placeholders, you're so... <laughs> No idea. <laughs> who are the placeholders? You mean in regards to this game? Uh, I don't know. Why do I get? Why do I guess? It's another fucking meme of some sort that I just don't understand. <laughs> He does understand it. Bro, you would have been like, dude, what the fuck is the placeholders? And just would have moved on. You wouldn't, like, explain it. Oski Wasco, the two fucking internet in Mexico be cutting out a lot. Oh, that's all good, man. Well, I guess not for you. Shit. <laughs> After being kicked out of the uselessness clan, DSP Gaming's behavior towards the WWE Champions game was followed on Discord servers and within the game. DSP Gaming is in another clan, but this time with other members trying to be high in the ranks. They still found him. Old Horizon sent me a dollar three. So what was your departure from Road Warriors Amicable? What does that mean? Road Warriors. <laughs> Someone mentioned this the other night too. They said, I remember now. Someone said Road Warriors. It's gotta be another stupid fucking meme I don't understand. I just... <laughs> <laughs> Every time DSP Gaming joins a new clan, the member's information is exposed online. That's pretty fucked, honestly. That part's kind of fucked. Like, I don't agree with that. Like, you shouldn't be doxing random fucking mobile game players. Like, come on now. That shit's unnecessary, but I don't know. It's... Oh my god, man. It just shows you how dedicated people are to DSP. When confronted by the detractors, DSP Gaming is removed from each new clan. Like a RKO out of nowhere, but they call me DSP Gaming name was changed to the gun show. It's almost like the name was changed to hide from the investigators. With the amount of wrestlers collected, the VIP level and rank which was similar- Was DSP born in 1984? I wonder. Let's see. Philip Brunel. No, I don't think he was. That wouldn't make sense then. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know. Because 84, I would think, would be his birth year, but it's not. Similar to the They Call Me DSP Gaming account. He was born in 82. They still found him. 
Let's see here. Call me Brazy to be a dollar thirty-seven. What's up, Phil? What does the gun show mean? I don't <laughs> know. What are you talking about? What does the gun show mean? In reference to me, I have no idea. A gun show is a place where they uh, publicly sell guns. A lot of people in the United States have an issue with that because they feel that those could be like, um, they could be, uh, they could bypass the background check laws that are in effect to make sure that the wrong people don't get guns. And right now, a lot of people think that gun shows in the United States are very, very, uh, not unlawful, but basically like a way for criminals and people who have checkered past to get around that kind of stuff. So they have a lot of issues with that. There's basically a big controversial thing in politics right now about gun shows in the United States. But outside of that, I don't know what you're talking about. Alexander Ross is here. He says, DSP gun show emote when? I don't know. What would it be? Would it be me with guns or me going like this? I don't know what it means. I don't know what the fucking... I don't know what the, what the actual meme is, so I can't really answer it. DSP Gaming was given the ability to change his username in the WWE Champions game, hoping nobody would track him down. No matter the name changes within the game or via his Discord profile, DSP Gaming can be tracked via his in-game points, rank, wrestlers, and other mediums. Even the Discord name and the profile picture were changed, but the ID number still remains the same. It feels like escaping isn't an option and the detractors would find him, no matter what. <laughs> uh, Miles Morales to be dollars. Have you caught an iron dragon yet? It's a rare fish on some of the islands. I caught one today and accidentally released it and had to find another one. No, I, I'm not I caught the iron dragon. Never heard of it. I haven't seen it either. DSP Gaming would even play the WWE Champions game until the early hours in the morning. No matter what he does, the people are onto his every move. No matter what he does in the game or people asking about it, he would have a mental breakdown. Oh, he can't make... He cannot make a new account. Because then he would have to give up all of his fucking rare characters, bro, which he values probably more than anything else in his life. He can't get rid of that shit. The Down From The Raptors account is your account on the WWE Champions account. Did you hear about the crazy conspiracy theory about you spending $40,000 on mobile games? Oh, okay, third out of third is saying there's a new fucking detractor meme saying that I spent $20,000 on WWE Supercard. Great. There's lots of evidence that shows it is. Be honest with everyone. For other times, still use that fucking name and other. Did you hear about the crazy conspiracy theory about you spending forty thousand oh, dollars on the mobile games? Account is your account on the WWE Champions. Oh, okay. Account. Third out of saying there's a new fucking detractor meme saying that I spent twenty thousand dollars on WWE Supercard. There's lots of evidence that shows it is. Be honest with everyone. There's lots of evidence. Oh, okay. Third out of saying there's a new fucking detractor meme saying that I spent twenty thousand dollars. Yes, I've heard it all. Actually, the last. Oh, a new Discord? I mean, I guess, but DSP is probably too lazy to switch between accounts. All right, you guys ready? So we could we could fucking move past this. All right, the WWE mobile game meme came about because I declared bankruptcy. Okay, <laughs> and idiots on the internet wanted to find like a. Or you declared bankruptcy because of the mobile game. I don't know. It sounds like a possibility. This whole thing's fucking crazy, bro. I don't know. <laughs> this is absolutely insane. Scapegoat or a reason why I shouldn't get bankruptcy. And so they had this insane, crazy, overblown conspiracy theory that because there was a guy, I guess, that in the game had my name, not my, my DSP gaming, my, my Twitter handle, they call me DSP, okay? Because this guy had my Twitter handle, that somehow it was me. And so they kept showing on the internet, on Kiwi Farms, of course, people sent me all this information so I would know what's going on with this fucking bullshit. Look, Phil, people are slandering you and saying that you're this guy and you're spending money on the game and this and that. And I basically ignored the living shit out of it, okay? Because any more time that I put into it, any more effort, that's exactly what they wanted. They wanted me to talk about it. They wanted to, to derail my streams. They basically wanted to send so much slanderous information about me on the internet about this fucking mobile game that I played years ago and stopped playing, okay? That they basically wanted to make it life miserable for me and somehow 
convince the parties involved with my bankruptcy that this had something to do with it and that they should not grant me bankruptcy, all right? Ladies and gentlemen, I used to play mobile games. I publicly admitted to it multiple times over the years I used to play mobile games. Yes, I used to even spend money on mobile games because I was a fucking idiot, okay? And yes, I played some of this WWE <laughs> uh, gem matching game that they, they're, they're, they're still fucking talking about to this day, all right? He doesn't even want to name it. There were certain times when I was addicted to it, I played it too much. And that WWE Supercard game, I played it too much. There was like events where I was playing it like countless hours. And so when my now wife Kat moved in with me over two years ago, I said, I'm basically not going to be playing these games with any kind of major time investment or money investment anymore. At that point, I couldn't do money investment anyway. I was broke. But basically, I was like, they can't do this anymore. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, I have not played any major mobile game in over two years, okay? Truth, right now, I've not played any mobile game in any major way in over two years, including this fucking WWE game that these idiots keep bringing up. <laughs> the stupid shit because someone has my Twitter handle in the game is not fucking me. It might have been a fan of mine or it might have been, who knows, right? A but fan. For me to pick up my phone right now and waste time downloading the game and showing you, oh, here's my login and everything. Number one, that's giving them exactly what they want. I'm just so tired of these idiots bring the same Nazis up over and over again. It's like, how many times can you beat the dead fucking horse? I wonder if they're <laughs> harassing this fucking guy. Again, I don't know if- Sam the Madman with the two just got home from work. What did I miss? Uh, we are watching the DSP Gaming WWE Champions documentary. So quite a bit, but it's okay. We're getting to the climax here. This guy was a troll of mine. Oh, who was trying to impersonate me or maybe he was a fan of mine maybe he's just someone with dumb bad fucking luck to have the same name as my twitter handle but if they're still bothering oh he just happened to have the same name as your twitter hand oh my god he really thinks people are gonna buy that shit and this guy like five months later holy fucking shit dude get a fucking light look in the mirror realize you're a fucking loser oh my god On the 11th of December 2020, a new form of evidence was discovered between DSP Gaming and the WWE Champions game. If you thought the evidence in the past wasn't convincing, then maybe this would. So debunked DSP fan cheered, he says, just to let you know if you come across it, the Line app is a new detractor meme. Okay. What the hell is the Line app? Add me on Line app, did 100 bitches. Oh, here you go. Add me online app. Apparently, this is the detractor me. He's like, I used to watch this how you don't play videos. I believed you were a terrible person. I decided to give you a chance and watch you on live stream. I have to say I was right. So there you go. It's the new detractor me. Very nice. Oh, here we go. All right. The debunk DSP fan, I don't know what the hell you're talking about. I really don't. He says, your number was doxxed, is registered as they call me DSP online app. Line app was used by some on D WWE mobile game me. What? I think I'm just asking too many questions. Like, who cares? <laughs> DSP Gaming's personal contact details have been music. exposed on the internet in the past. Would this relate to a mobile number for a mobile game? The last guild he was in used an app called Line so they could communicate instead of a Discord. He registered his number with it. They call me DSP on the line app. This 100% <laughs> confirms that they call me DSP in WWE Champions and Discord is in fact DSP Gaming. But he claims, it's not my number anymore guys, I changed it, you just don't know it, ack ack ack. Really DSP? Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message system. Phil Burnell is not available. It's his <laughs> phone number. No matter how much he tries to deny it, it is his phone number. Well, so again, I don't know what this this word means. It sounds like it's a racist term, so I'm not going to say it. But someone took me $4.20 and says, 
when I reach out to Rambo to make and try to make amends for the past, first of all, I have nothing to make amends for. He would have to reach out to me. I am the one who still has the same phone number. I'm the one who, you know what I mean? Like, I'm the guy who's still easily reachable. With an easily reachable public persona. Everything this dude does by the Now we can ass. verify this is DSP Gaming's WWE Champions account and we can confirm he has spent over $40,000. This is further evidence that these are DSP Gaming's contact details. He will still deny he plays WWE Champions even though the information clearly shows 100% this is him. To this day, DSP Gaming still sinks hundreds or even thousands of dollars into the WWE Champions game. He lied to the viewers about not playing the game and unfortunately has an addiction problem. The next time DSP Gaming begs to his viewers about needing donations for the business or bills, remember he is spending that money on a mobile game. $40,000 plus in a mobile game. And that's just the True. one they know right about. Right now, I have not played any mobile game in any major way in over two years, including this fucking WWE game that these idiots keep bringing up. It's not my account. It's not my account. During the same year with the WWE Champions gambling addiction, DSP Gaming declared bankruptcy. This is the very same person who spent $40,000 into a mobile game during the time where he declared bankruptcy. So anyway, I fully explained to the bankruptcy lawyer up front, chances are anything that could be public on the internet is going to go public, okay? And so I had discussions with the bankruptcy lawyer about how to go about this, how to discuss it, how, what to publicly reveal, what to not publicly reveal, okay? And essentially, once I had explained to the bankruptcy lawyer everything, they responded in this manner. It sounds to me like no matter what, these people who are after you are so crazy fucking obsessed. No, they say fucking, but they're so crazy obsessed with you. They're going to find everything out anyway. This is Phil's bankruptcy petition form. This is widely available on the internet to view. DSP Gaming couldn't sell one of his condominiums and had to foreclosure it. The detractors found out online. From this information, they had an idea he would file for bankruptcy. As soon as the bank formally filed for the foreclosure on me for this property in Connecticut, immediately the trolls find it and post it all over the internet, right? It was like the day of. It wasn't even like a delay. Oh so these, these God, idiots man. literally sit there refreshing, refresh, refresh, refresh to find this information about me. <laughs> Wilson got with the two watching your stream while playing WWE Champions. Yo, that's what's up, man. Good luck in those Hulk Hogan rolls. It's cr insane, but they found it, okay? Phil has declared 14 bank loans on his bankruptcy form. These total up to over $130,000. From reading Phil's bankruptcy form, besides his lies, it seems his answers are often conflicting information. It feels that DSP Gaming is making his WWE Champions gambling addiction spending as part as his business expense. WWE Champions has never been a part of his content. Phil well, it has whether he's wanted it to be or not, let's be honest in his personal expenses as $5,112. Phil realistically should have $3,500 left over. Phil says he has negative $35.07 after deductions. 
Phil's realistic business expenses should be around $525 per month. Throughout 2019 to March 2020, Phil makes at least $11,000 a month. Annually, Jesus. Phil makes around $132,000. These earnings aren't mentioned either. DSP Gaming has the money, but from his records, he isn't very good on saving his own money. That's putting it lightly. The more money you get, the, the easier it the is to spend. The 26th of March 2020, a 3 for 1 meeting took place over the phone. This wasn't scheduled in court due to Washington State being in a pandemic. Okay, the next matter is Philip Burnell. I am present. Mr. Burnell, would you raise your right hand? Yes. Do you solemnly swear the testimony you're about to give to be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Yes. Did you prepare and file with the bankruptcy court a list of all of your assets and all of your liabilities? Yes. Are those documents, including the petition, the schedules, and the statement of financial affairs, true and correct to the best of your knowledge? Yes. Do you own or have any access to any online gaming packages? Uh, if you mean like subscription-based gaming services, yes. Correct. Yes. Okay, what is WWE Network? <laughs> Can you repeat that, please? What is WWE Network? Can you repeat that, please? What is WWE Network? WWE Network. Oh, WWE Network. That is uh, just a, an on-demand video service uh, for watching, you know, pro professional wrestling. That is not business related. Uh, reviewing your filing, it looks like you, you stated here that you have about $5,000 a month in business expenses. Can you, can you... <laughs> Itemize that for me. Dude, what the fuck is DSP spending $5,000 a month on for his content? Dude literally puts in zero fucking effort and then bitches when anyone asks him to spend any sort of money on actually improving his content in the fucking slightest. Just a second. Where are you seeing five thousand dollars a month on business expenses? Uh, he's listed over five thousand dollars a month on expenses. So he's got mm -hmm. five thousand dollars a month in income, five thousand dollars a month in expenses, and basically the the gross income that he's claiming that he's making is thirty five dollars. Okay. So where are the five thousand dollars a month in business expenses? Yes, if if that's if that's claimed as personal expenses instead, I would still like to get an idea of. of how exactly he itemizes that. Because the amount of income that I'm seeing, uh, uh, he's claiming that it varies, but the time that he filed, it just happened to be during a very high spike in, uh, in expenses, which doesn't really make any sense to me. Do you have schedule? As long as we've established that he's oh realized that he was God. involved in October, that's, that's really all I needed. Okay. So it's fine. I mean, I don't want to cut your questions off. I'm just trying to make sure that you're understanding the forms the way they're intended. Right, I understand. He's claiming okay. that he's got $5,000 a month in expenses and only $5,000 a month in income and nets about $35, which still doesn't really make any sense to me when he's claiming that he gets uh, $1,000 from YouTube, 
um, four thousand dollars from Twitch. That's five thousand right there. But then he's also claiming that he gets these donations or tips or mm -hmm. or whatever it is through his through his stream itself, which is separate from the service paying him for streaming. Okay, I understand your question. Do you have a further explanation, Mr. Burnell? I, I've already broken down how my expenses work. I don't know what this this, uh, this gentleman is referencing specifically. Um. You know, I, uh, all the information is there, so I don't know exactly what he's looking for. Okay. I don't understand. I, I don't understand. I'm just asking you to explain your expenses. Which we've done. Which we've done. So why are you asking again? I do not see anywhere that adds up to $5,000 of expenses monthly. Or, or that warrants paying extra money for video games and things post-October when you realize that you were involved. Phil was approved for the bankruptcy and had his credit card debt discharged, in spite of many suspicious details within his paperwork. How fucked up is that, man? He got out of his credit card debt. Like, this dude racked up thousands upon thousands of dollars in debt, and it all just fucking gets wiped away. Total CC loan debt cleared $131,550.28. Even when Phil was granted the bankruptcy, Phil carried on in his streams asking for fans' donations. Some of his stories behind the begging was met with lies. Here is one example where he lies about a busted shower. So what? What's going on? I go in there. The shower's on. I'm like, what's going on? She goes, I won't go turn off the shower. Okay, I go to do it. The shower valve is completely busted. So I guarantee you I'm going to have to call a plumber. He's going to come in here, replace the whole thing, and charge me like, no lie, a thousand bucks. Oh my god, what a tragedy. All right, so let's head back in here and let's see what we can do. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, I just received a $25 tip from the Brick Boy 103. He's loving the playthrough so far. Keep up the great work. Your streams are awesome. Now I received a $30 tip from Phil Smokes Crack. Uh, Brick, the Brick Boy 103 tipped me $75. Ladies and gentlemen, the Brick Boy just did a $103 tip. It's actually my, oh my God, another ginormous tip just came in. All right, let's finish this. <laughs> One hundred and sixty dollars. Yeah, but the thing is, Hood Hustler, he can sell his house at any time and pay down the debt. That's the thing. It's just his ego won't fucking allow him to sell it. So he'd rather plead poverty. Brick Boy 103 just did a three hundred dollar tip and said, beat this Phil Smokes crack. With the amount of money DSP Gaming earned that day, instead of hiring a plumber to fix his shower, he spent it on the mobile app game, WWE Champions. The average cost of hiring a plumber in the Seattle area is around $500 and not $1,000. This isn't the first time DSP Gaming made excuses towards his fans. When he begs on stream, the fans' donations go towards a gacha game and not towards his struggling finances. A member from his stream even asked about the money towards the shower. This is how DSP Gaming responded. No, no, Gloob, if you ever ask me a stupid question like that again, I'm just gonna ban you outright. I mean it. I mean it too. You're being a fucking complete dumbass by saying something stupid like that. Over here. Get here. Like, he brings all these situations to public light. Like, does he not expect people to follow up after they've, like, literally given him a thousand dollars? 
I don't know, man. It'd be like if I was begging or whatever, like, oh my god, guys, I literally have crippling student loans. I can't, I can't afford to fucking live. I need you guys to help me out with a monthly payment. And then, like, if I raise the money, somebody dared to ask me, so did you make the payment or not? Like, if I freak the fuck out and I'm like, how fucking dare you ask me that type of shit? Like, that'd be like the equivalent kind of thing. It's like you're the one who brought this in to be like some fu fucking public fundraiser. Why is it wrong for people to want to know what the money actually went to? Dude, it's just fucking insane. After being in hot water from the amount of people finding out about DSP gaming paying money into a match 3 gambling game, anything to do with puzzles, matching colors to clear a line, he avoids it. Super Star Wars? I have this, I already got it. I've never played it. It's a SNES game, I believe, right? But I guess they remade it for PS4. Maybe we'll check that out today. Hey, hey, wait a minute. Did they fix the SNK games? Remember when I tried this on Monday, <laughs> the SNK games were working? Oh, they have all the battlefields. Battlefield 1943, Battlefield 3, <laughs> Bejeweled. Earth, Bad Company 1 and 2. Oh, shit. I'm sure no one plays those anymore. But still, that's kind of cool. Black. Dude, I remember when this game came out. When this game came out, <laughs> it, for some odd reason, it was insanely popular. In, re in reality, are there other games in this collection? Yes, but they're kind of fuck around. You only donate to Pokemon and Griffin? Well, I donate to Pokemon, so it all goes to her anyway. Barista Craig with a two. I don't feel so bad buying a lot of Nitro RC cars. No, no, man. Like, if you look at how DSP manages his money, you've got to be fucking doing better than him. And Oski Waski with the two student loans. Don't worry, I got you two dollars on the way. Appreciate you, man. That's gonna help so much with my taxes. Round games, or I guess there might actually be a vibrant puzzle fighter online community. I don't know, but I don't play puzzle fighter, so I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't take advantage or, or be a part of that, you know. Puzzle Fighter? See, Puzzle Fighter isn't a fighter, it's just a puzzle game. I'm no good at it, by the way. I suck at Puzzle Fighter. After having played Red Earth and Cyberbots, I've deemed they are not competitive games, and I still haven't played Puzzle Fighter, nor do I really care to, because I don't like Super Puzzle Fighter 2 Turbo. I'm not good at it. Um, by the way, I'm not saying I'll never play it. I'm just saying for now, I'm just not in the cards. It's all Saying the Man Man with the two bejeweled kind of slaps, not gonna lie. I never played it, but I knew a lot of people that did. I think my mom did at one point. Almost like he is trying to sweep all of this under the rug. As of 2021, things would go even worse for DSP Gaming. One person, where I like to name Anonymous, was able to hack into DSP Gaming's Bank of America bank account where they were able to find out what goes into his account and what he spends on a regular basis. DSP's Bank of America account definitely does not have six figures. Uriel Delgado with the five, I beat Ghost of Tsushima, best PS exclusive since God of War. That's what I've heard, man. I need to play it at some point. I'm probably going to buy another PS5 here pretty soon. So on Saturday, a person on Kiwi Farms posted information of how they were able to get access to the bank records of Darkside Phil, aka Philip Barnell. Um, one particular person managed to socially engineer their way into getting a hold of Darkside Phil's banking records. So what they did for weeks were social engineer, as they like to say, mm -hmm. the rest of it. DSP Gaming's social security number from his bankruptcy form was social engineered to find out his full social security number. This was used to enter into his bank account over the telephone. I don't condone DSP Gaming bank transactions being found via telephone. However, what you'll witness is the amount of money he spends as a content creator who cries poor. And that's really what one of the things leaks have shed light on is that Phil's expenses are not necessarily things that you would consider <clears throat> necessary or urgent bills. On April 26th, a debit card purchase for $48.31 from IHOP. Bro, how I still don't know how you spend forty eight dollars at IHOP, bro. Like, what the fuck? 
Timothy Markova, the two. Why do I, 21, have better spending habits than DSP? Because literally DSP makes anyone look good. And Jacob C with the five. Yo, this documentary is fire. I know, but this is like really fucking well done. This shit is crazy. On May 3rd, a debit card purchase for $62.12 from PetSmart. On April 19th. All right, I can relate to that, bro. Apollo's food's like 80 bucks a bag. It's fucking stupid. A debit card purchase for $71.02 from Total Wine. <laughs> oh my god, he's drinking gin. On May 26th, a debit card purchase for $63.55 from DoorDash. $70 DoorDash orders while pleading poverty. You love to see it. Now, mind you, when he's talking about he needs money, right? This is what he spent money on. On April 19th, a pre-authorized payment of $110.09 from PayPal. On April 19th, a pre-authorized payment of $110.09 uh -oh. from PayPal. On May 10th, a pre-authorized payment of $110.09 from PayPal. On May 10th, a pre-authorized payment of $110.09 from PayPal. On May 10th, a pre-authorized payment of $110.09 from PayPal. On May 17th, a pre-authorized payment of $110.09, $110.09, $110.09, $110.09, $110.09, $110.09, $110.09, $110.09, $110.09, $110.09, $110.09, $110.09, $110.09, $110.09, $110.09, $110.09, from PayPal. What is the PayPal purchase of one? I don't think we've watched this on stream. Yeah, it just came out. There's no way we watched this on stream. $110.09. This is the workings out. Around the week of May 17th, 2021. From PayPal. And why is it a 1651? Well, because there is a little bit of tax. It's actually $14.99 because it's his payment for WWE Champions. <laughs> uh, largely due to the fact that Phil is an avid player of it. And I think that the leaks have definitively proven this. Truth, right now, I've not played any mobile game in any major way in over two years, including this fucking WWE game that these idiots keep bringing up. It's not my account. And they were able to surmise that he's spending thousands of dollars on WWE Champions, even though he was saying that he wasn't playing this game, which is basically a gambling game. $4,500, 29.7%. Almost a third went to WWE Champions in March. I really need help with tips over the next four days to pay these bills that are all coming due around Wednesday-ish, okay? A pre-authorized payment of eleven $22.01, $102.09, $54.99, $2.62, $14.76, $22.01, $79.10, $22.01, $102.09, $10, $22.01, $10, $22.01, $10, $22.01, $10, $22.01, $10, $22.01, $10, $22.01, $10, $22.01, $10, $22.01, $10, $22.01, $10, $22.01, $10, $22.01, $10, $22.01, $10, $22.01, $10, $22.01, $10, $22.01, $10, $22.01, $10, $22.01, $10, $22.01, $10, $22.01, $10, $22.01, $10, $22.01, $10, $22.01, $10, $22.01, $10, $22.01, $10, $22.01, $10, $22.01, $10, $22.01, $10, $22.01, $10, $22.01, $10, $22.01, $10, $22.01, $10, $22.01, $10, $22.01, $10, $22.01, $10, $22.01, $10, $22.01, $10, $22.01, $10, $22.01, $10, $22.01, $10, $22.01, $10, $22.01, $10, $22.01, $10, $22.01, $10, $22.01, $10, $22.01, $10, $22.01, $10, $22.01, $10, $22.01, $10, $22.01, $10, $22.01, $10, $22.01, $10, $22.01, $10, $22.01, $10, $22.01, $10, $22.01, $10, $22.01, $10, $22.01, $10, $22.01, $10, $22.01, $10, $22.01, $10, $22.01
He getting all his money from people and spending it on his bullshit. Bullshit. But he's saying he needs it for, for like, like super shit. good. Look at all these. More concerning is the fact that Phil apparently even incurred overdraft fees when he was buying microtransactions in this game. Again, not to moralize or grandstand over this, but this is sort of indicative of a addictive behavior. All of your tips that you guys have, you know, submitted this week immediately are going to my bank account to clear these bills. Okay? Yeah, the overdraft On May fees. Third, a pre-authorized payment of twenty-two dollars and one cent from Apple iTunes. On May third, a pre-authorized payment of one hundred ten dollars and nine cents from Apple iTunes. On May third, a pre-authorized payment of fifty-five dollars and four cents from Apple iTunes. I got cards because I had credit in the iTunes store from presents from like two years ago. About two years ago, I was playing this game, WWE Supercard, a ton, okay? And I was playing the living shit out of it. I was addicted to it. I got a bunch of iTunes credits, uh, like hundreds of dollars of credits for iTunes. Now, the thing is... I don't buy music. Like, I wouldn't buy music and buy an album on my phone to listen to or whatever and anything like that. I said, so here's the opportunity. I put them in. I'll tell you, I got a bunch of cards. I got a bunch of cards. Some of the highest level epic cards, but they're, I guess they're only specific to a certain class. A pre-authorized payment of $22.01, $40.69, $110.09, $81.44, $110.09. Oh my god. It just, it never fucking ends. It never ends, man. Uriel Delgado with the two. What's this? I'll link it in the chat. Give me a second. You can save it. But the uh, channel is called Secret Limited. They do a bunch of, like, really good DSP documentaries. So, Kobe Loke with the three. It's going to be so funny when he loses his pay. I don't know what the fuck he's going to do. Like, honestly. It is, like, crazy to fucking think about. In retro gaming with the two, he probably is spending his money on OnlyFans. I don't think so, man. I don't know. I think he has like an actual like fucking gambling addiction. I mean, it's the only way that makes sense how he pissed away all his fucking YouTube earnings over the years and has nothing to show for it. Apple iTunes. This is further evidence DSP Gaming is playing the mobile app WWE Champions from his PayPal and iTunes purchases. And he's going on here and guilt tripping these people into giving him money. Right. It's wrong, bro. No, it is wrong. But these people, some of them, not saying all, some people who know they have the fucking right mind know they shouldn't be sending this nigga motherfucking shit. But they do it. DSP, we all know you're financially irresponsible. We all know you're an idiot. But holy shit, DSP. Like, how do you have a gambling addiction like that, man? It's actually fucking sad to see. But now those banking deals basically prove what everyone was saying was right. He gets far more money than he's letting on. Examples of DSP Gaming's bank statements between March 2020 to September 2021 in pie chart form. <laughs> I wish my taxes were that fucking low. Jesus Christ. From March 2020 to September 2021. DSP Gaming has spent over $190,485. The Golly. big one during this period is where DSP Gaming has spent $44,950 on playing WWE Champions. 
He is paying more on this game compared to paying for his own mortgage. Holy fuck. This guy is definitely reporting WWE champions on his taxes. Holy shit, DSP. Are you trying to go to jail? But honestly, that this type of situation, bro, when you go to court. Yeah, it's going to be. They going to make a fool out of these people who are spending their money. This man is using your money and lying to you every day and drinking himself. So not not able to do, wait till the money stops. Watch what happens. He literally will fucking lose his mind. Like, if you guys think this is bad, when DSP's pay piggies cut him off, he is going to be fucking ballistic. Silly every night. Honestly, bro, some of these people's getting money to actually see the dumb shit he's doing. If you are a person who is donating to Phil and you're doing it as a means in which to support what he's doing in terms of maybe upgrading his setup so that he can play PC games, that money will not be going into enhancing the quality of the stream. It will go into feeding whatever Phil wants at the time. The last thing that's really on his mind is improving as a content creator. And honestly, given the way that he treats a lot of his audience, I don't really think they'll even care that he's just straight up wasting their money on stupid mobile games and alcohol. I just explained it. Oh my God, you gotta be fucking, someone just said what bills? What the fuck? I literally just said it. My overdraft fees. Well, hello everyone and welcome to the Daily Wrap. If you're wondering what's going on, Jasper has once again stolen my seat. So I decided I would do the video like this and you could watch him sit here and steal my seat. Oh, oh, Jasper is attacking me viciously. We have come to the main event. This video is the Daily Wrap. This was uploaded on the 23rd of July, 2022. Within the last two years, Phil said he hasn't played the WWE Champions application game where he has spent thousands or ten thousands of dollars. He never said anything the within his content fab. or shown any proof showing the game. That's all about to change. Let so Kobe Local the three, he's going for a career as a homeless street beggar. I mean, if he keeps it up, he definitely will be filling that role. 100%. Let's have a look at Phil's phone. The quality of the video is a little poor, but if you are familiar with the game, you can make out what is on Phil's phone. This is the brawl feature within the WWE <laughs> Champions application game. Oh my god. This is the team green button. This is the scores yellow button. This is the yellow leaderboard button. This is the more info button. This is the time clock. This is the blue section where your wrestlers would be. This is the chat box. These are all from the WWE Champions application game. Caught in 720p. This more than confirms DSP gaming playing and gambling on the WWE Champions mobile game. 110%. <laughs> if anything goes by the amount of years oh where Phil God. has spent into this game, he could have spent around $100,000 on a match 3 game. From acknowledging this for many years, Phil has a gambling problem. I feel he needs help. In all fairness, there is no shame getting help out there. Spending more money into this game isn't Pour going to benefit you on Phil. this game alone. You can't get no real prize reward. I'm not the enemy. 
I always want the best for people's lives, but not something like <laughs> this. Unfortunately, I'm not pouring up some gin, although that would have been very fucking suiting. Crush your bad with a five. I thought I was an idiot for spending $140 on Candy Crush years ago, but DSP makes me look like mine was chump change. Luckily, I stopped after that. I mean, yeah, I've spent like, I think, 800 bucks total on FGO over the past like five, six years. But that's like the extent of my mobile game spending. I don't know, man. Like forty five thousand. Like somebody be like, "Well, Griffin, you spend money on Pokemon cards, you fucking pussy." It's the same thing. Well, like at least I have the cards to show for it that have value. Like, sure, you could say I'm addicted to gotcha mechanics or whatever the fuck, but at least the shit I have has like an actual value to it. Like, if I ever wanted to sell my cards, I would get cash back and probably more than I actually paid for them. But I don't know, man. It's fucking crazy. The amount of money he's pissed away on dumb shit like this. Lots of people on the internet has warned viewers where the donation money is going towards this game. If the money went straight to bills, the roof over your head, or shopping. I don't mind this at all. But, have a long think about this and maybe talk to a friend or family member and discuss what you've witnessed. Phil. If you're not a nasty piece of work when spending your money on a game like this, you know deep down inside, this isn't the way to carry on with your gambling problem. You can help your wife, your cat, or even the parents in your life who brought you up in this world. This money can be used on them instead. If you like to get help, and there is no shame asking for it, because we are all human who make mistakes, I would kindly ask for you to ring the Washington State Problem Gambling Helpline. Their number is 1-800-547-613. And you know Phil's watch this like, dude, they're just trolls. It's like, oh my god, I don't know, man. Three. Alamania, oh shit, Alamania Cram with the five, DSP is making 850 plus, wait is making the 850 plus I spent on Genshin Impact back or Genshin Impact look harmless. Yeah. I mean it's just an insane amount of money. 45 grand on a fucking mobile game, dude. Like I thought the people that spent like 2 grand on the CS:GO knife were crazy. But at least they can sell the CS:GO knife after they're done with it. DSP is pissed away like 20 times that amount. On a game he'll never get that fucking money back out of. Three. If you don't want to use them, maybe use another source to seek help. We don't need to know if you are seeing someone to get help behind the scenes. But if your career is long and gone, you won't have any money to stand on. Do the right thing. Not for us, but for yourself. Thank you for watching. Jesus Cristo. I don't know, man. It, it's fucking wild. Absolutely fucking wild. Like, this channel has a bunch of really good content on DSP, though. Elden Ring review, DSP. DSP reacts. Dark Side fell down the rabbit hole. Oh, I heard that was really fucking funny. I've never watched it, though. Top 10 best DSP moments, April Fool's edition. This is how you don't play Sifu. Top 10. Oh, yeah. This channel makes, like, the best fucking DSP video every single year. The top 10 worst DSP moments. Like, that's really something to look forward to every single fucking year. And Sam the Madman with the two, this made my Titan or Team Fortress 2 unboxing phase look like a joke. Yeah. No, Phil puts, like, Phil literally is spending the average household income <laughs> on fucking loot boxes, bro. Like, it's, or not loot boxes, on fucking gotcha rolls. Like, it's absolutely incredible. 
Like, this man would put any big fucking spender to shame on any game, man. On any fucking game. The video was an hour, bro. It went by really fast. Honestly, that was a really quick hour for watching a video. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, we just watched the whole thing. 60 minutes. I think it was 63, but... Dude, that shit was really good. Well edited. Like... <laughs> the fact that they literally found him playing the game in his own fucking video is fucking weak. Like, there's no denial at this point. Phil should just own it. Because in all honesty, if he just did own it, people would have sympathy for him. Be like, yeah, I'm getting help and everything like that. And people would donate out of sympathy. But that's the issue, is Phil's begging is linked to his addiction to fucking WWE champions. Because what happens is when you have an addiction, it's like people who smoke and then... It's like people who smoke and have an alcohol addiction. Or no, fuck. It's people who smoke, get a tobacco or nicotine addiction, and they also drink around the same time they smoke. They develop an alcohol addiction over time. Because they associate the act of drinking with smoking cigarettes. And that's kind of what's happened with DSP. Is he's gotten into this basically feedback loop of where he can feed his like gambling addiction on WWE champions whenever he begs. So he has an addiction to begging. So he can't ever put himself in a situation where he wouldn't be able to beg or else it literally would just like mind fuck him. Because then it would basically seem like, oh, my gambling addiction can never be like met because I can't beg as well. It's it's fucking crazy, man. It's sad. It's really fucking sad. But he did it to himself. He refuses to get help, and he's a total fucking prick about it. So you really can't feel too bad, honestly. You really just cannot feel too